Well, biodynamic farming is enhanced organics, as I put it. So organic farming is essentially a, you know, a, a number, a group of practices, often just removing chemical. You can be an organic farmer just by removing chemical and those artificial inputs. Um, Biodynamics is so much more. It's 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 a it's an inclusion or a, or, a, or a, um, the addition of cosmic energy of cos cosmic connections. Music is the note is the sound between the notes in Western Western music. Yeah, so you have notes and you have the sound in between, and in in biodynamics we have the cosmos and we have the earth, and the sound in between is is the biodynamics. Yeah, it's what lives between the cosmic reality and the earthly reality. Now, one way to quickly explain that is the moon has an influence on lots of things on Earth. You know, you know, tides, human, you know, uh, uh, cycles, all sorts of cycles, and it's quite profound. You know, so tides are—they're a big, you know—they're a pretty powerful thing. And in a similar way, the other planets moving further out have um, have much more subtle but very powerful influences as well and through connecting um, those plants back to the cosmos and to those planets using biodynamics we can um, we can enhance the function of those plants enhance the vitality and the fertility of those plants and in, in turn the animals in that environment they pick up on that they eat those plants we eat those plants and so um, that all might sound a bit spooky wah wah but at the end of the day, you know, this, 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 this sort of stuff works. In Europe, um, the percentage of viticulture as an area of land doesn't show. It's insignificant. 60% of all the wine prizes go to biodynamic, farm, biodynamic vineyards. Yeah? So from a nil percentage, less than one percentage of viticulture, 60% of the wine prizes, that's, that says we need to pay attention. It's, a, it's a bit of probably an overused expression. I feel much more connected with nature because I, I'm, I'm building a relationship. It's an offering. The biodynamics helps me build a relationship with her through uh, the practice, the rituals of putting out preparations, of making those preparations, of sourcing a lot of the ingredients for those preparations from our farm. You, you, a lot of cow manure we use, other herbs, um, other minerals. And so we're, we're, we're creating a lovely cycle of um, you know, a function and, a, and, a, and, and, and recycling ingredients and utilising the biology. Not everything needs to be or can be explained. You know, as farmers we tend to like prescriptions. You know, we want the list of th inputs and we know that if we put these things on like a recipe, that whatever we bake with that, that recipe we're going to get. You know, so in farming we might put on urea and and, and other fertilizers and different sprays and chemicals on a crop or in a pasture and we will get this result. Well we know my experience has been that doesn't necessarily happen anyway but you know once we can step away from that kind of thinking which Hamish really helped introduce to me um, you know your world opens up. So my, my objective is to introduce people to the language of biodynamics so that they can actually have a conversation with anyone around the world about biodynamics um, and have a meaningful conversation. I did four years at the Rural Science at university so I kind of get the scientific approach to farming and life uh, but I'm also relieved that not everything can be explained by science. It leaves sort of a whole lot of mystery and it leaves a lot of room for creativity. I, one of the things I love about Conscious Ground is the fact that it gives, gives people opportunity to, to be creative in a farming sense, to grow food. I mean, it's a great honour to be growing food for people, especially when it's nutritionally dense. And the inclusion of biodynamics in this situation, I mean, it's a bit of a no-brainer. This is a place where there's a wonderful intention in the first place. You've got wonderful people. It attracts you know, people who want to um, want to grow good food and want to do the best they can for, the, for this environment. Having committed a whole lot of crimes in my paddocks over many years of whether that be artificial fertilizers or pesticides or herbicides, now I'm, every time I go into our paddock, you know, I'm, I'm going there with 
with an offering of biodynamics. And even if I'm not spraying biodynamics, I'm going there with compassion. I'm, I'm in some ways seeking some forgiveness for what I've done over those many years. And biodynamics is a way to kind of, I guess not seek forgiveness, but to, to, to give back. In terms of like farmers considering biodynamics or any other sort of more natural way to do it, you know, as we've said this morning, just starting small. You might have a lot of land that you're going, I can't put it out this scale, but like, okay, well don't, don't try and put it out of that scale. Go and get a corner of your farm and, and put it out there and just put a, set aside some time, set, set aside some resources, buy some preparations and spread it out there and just see how you go. Start small. And it's coming to places like Conscious Ground that just reminds me, you know, why why we do this. You know, it's just, it is wonderful people want to want to grow better food, and you know that's what we're here to do.